Hello and welcome to 3ABN Today Family Worship and Happy Sabbath. My name is Jason Bradley and I'm so glad that you could join us this evening. You know, I remember when I was a, a young boy, my mom used to make us have family worship. Mm. I enjoyed family worship, so it wasn't an obligation necessarily. I probably should have rephrase that. Um, <laughs> but All one right. thing that I didn't enjoy about family worship was singing, because oh. I think that I sing best when nobody's around. I'm, <laughs> I'm an all-star singer when oh, nobody yeah. is in the room. But I'm so glad that you are here with us for this wonderful topic, peace in the midst of the storm. Mm. So much going on in our world today but you can have peace in the midst of the storm. And we're gonna talk about how you can have peace. And here with me to discuss this wonderful topic is, well, you know him as Mr. Danny Shelton, yeah. All right. founder and corporate consultant of 3ABN. It's great to have you on. Good to be here. I know him as Pop. All right. Uh -huh. And we have his lovely wife, Yvonne Shelton, mm -hmm. co-founder of 3ABN's Dare to Dream Network and consultant. Great to have you here. Thank you. I know her as mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, we have Pastor Kenny Shelton Good. of Behold the Lamb Ministries. Mm -hmm. I know him as Uncle Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> and we have his lovely wife, Chris Shelton of Behold the Land Ministries. I know her as Aunt Chris. Yeah. Aunt Thank Chris. Yeah, it's good to be around the table, isn't it? Amen. To study the yeah. word. Yes. Yeah, it's Amen. truly family worship. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It is. And we have our 3ABN family joining us. Yeah. This, is, All right. this is wonderful. So, so does that mean we don't have a song, Jay? Oh, yes, absolutely. See, that's, oh, that's the joy. When you get to host the program, you get to make that decision. <laughs> there you go. All right, right. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> peace in the midst of the storm. Have you guys ever experienced any storms in your life? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Anybody right. that tells you they haven't, uh, I'd question their, either their sanity or their truthfulness. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. But people say, well, you know, but you're a Christian, like, Everything should be perfect, right? Hmm. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good, but we all die, so that's a little warning that everything may not go good when uh -huh. you yes. become a Christian, but there is some good news. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the outside, and I'm sure we're going to get into the good news mm. Absolutely. about peace in the midst of the Amen. Storm. Absolutely. That's the difference. Absolutely. Pastor Kenny, will you open up with prayer? Oh, absolutely. Let's all pray together, shall we? Uh -huh. Loving Father in heaven, we truly thank you for this privilege, this opportunity to be able to get into your word. We just uh, invite the Holy Spirit now to take possession of our hearts and our minds. And each one who listens, those who view, we just pray your Holy Spirit will give ears and eyes to hear, to see that you're coming soon and that we need to be prepared. We need this peace as we are in the midst of a storm right Amen. now. Amen. And Lord, every day of our life, the enemy's trying to blow with the winds and try to blow us off center. We just pray the Holy Spirit now will center us up with your word. Bless each one here, each one again who views and who listens. May the Holy Spirit be paramount in each of our hearts and lives and lead us, we pray, to our eternal home. Yeah. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Now we turn everything over to you because you are able in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Uncle Kenny. Let's look at Mark chapter 4 verses 35 through 41. Mm. And we're gonna look at some storms in the mm -hmm. Bible. Mom, would you like to read that? Sure. 35 to 41. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is truly family worship. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. 
Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was all already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Mm -hmm. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? Amen. Hmm. Hmm. They didn't know who they had in the boat. Come on. Right. Come on. <laughs> and, and that's, I think that's one key takeaway from this passage is Amen. you have to know who you have in the boat. Come who's, on. Who's with you? Yes, who are you sir. serving? Mm -hmm. So I, I, think, right. I think that's crucial. What jumps out to you? And we can just go around the table. What, what jumps out um, to you guys from this passage? What jumped out to me is during the midst of the storm, a terrible storm, they thought they were going to die. Mm -hmm. And the Savior was fast asleep mm -hmm. on a bed. Mm -hmm. it, he had no concern, no mm -hmm. worries. He was tired and he was just taking a rest. He was sleeping. And it reminded me of Philippians 4, 7, where it says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, mm -hmm. shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he had that peace. Of course, I believe it's part of himself, but he had to learn too. Being born on this earth, he had to learn from his father. And so he had that, that peace from his father and I think it passed all mm -hmm. understanding around him. And that's kind of where we're finding ourselves many times mm -hmm. you know, today. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I, there's several points that came out, you know, vivid in my mind because naturally if you're in a storm, you're out on, it said a little boat. I, I assume Jesus was on the little boat because there's other little boats. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that wouldn't take a whole lot of uh, people to turn that oh boat my. over. They feared for their lives, but it, it's kind of an illustration, at least in my mind, about trying to earn salvation by works. Mm. Mm. They worked their self into a Ooh, tizzy. That's that's good. Good. What was they doing? I mean, they were rowing, they were fighting, they were carrying on, as probably we might do if we were out there. Right. Mm -hmm. I've been in a lot less situations than that, and I fought tooth and nail, you know, to survive. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, we've been out on the water, a few times, and it thing. wasn't that bad of a storm, but yeah. we were pretty <laughs> concerned. But, but, but when you think about that, they did all they could, mm -hmm. but their expertise as boatmen, fishermen, this is not their, what they call first rodeo, or their first storm, <laughs> right. Right. You know, right. 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 right? This wasn't uh -huh. their first storm. Uh -huh. So they had fought many of them, and they thought maybe they had the skill to, you know, kind yeah. of say, Christians, we have what it takes inside to make it to heaven. And sometimes we leave Jesus outside. So they did everything they could. It didn't, it, it didn't avail uh, nothing. They, their strength, their skill, everything was out the window. Mm -hmm. And so th then they began to think, of, you know, they forgot Jesus for a while, if we know as we read there. They felt, when they began to feel, feel helpless, when there was no hope, Mm. You see, and there seemed to be nothing else for them to do. All of a sudden, they remembered mm. Jesus. Mm. You know, first thing we should do, you know, instead of trying to avail. And again, we're talking about salvation here. They, they tried. I think this happens. Anytime we try to save ourselves by works, mm -hmm. mm, by good. doing, we automatically have forgotten Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. automatically we put him back here because we're going to earn our way in and they tried their best, bless their heart, to save themselves. Nothing availed until they finally Amen. gave up mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. yes. Lord, save us. Mm -hmm. yes. Perish. Wow. You the beauty of that is, though sometimes we do that, he's there when we do call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's In other words, we can yeah. put him off. They tried everything else yes. first. Yes. But, you know, we always say, well, you know, the peace I found in the midst of the storm is because I've read the back of the book. Mm -hmm. But they were with the book. Come Jesus on. is the book, yeah. right? right? He is the Word. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they were, was with the Word That's right. and didn't even really realize mm -hmm. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But even in the worst of times, and even when we've forgotten somehow and we've tried it our way, if we cry out, Lord, save us, yeah. He's there. That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. And another application while you guys were talking, it made me think right now, you know, we're going through this COVID-19 mm -hmm. crisis mm -hmm. all over the world. 
and a lot of people are very fearful and so mm -hmm. many people are turning to the Word of God. I mean, I, we listen to a, a new, I guess I shouldn't say which news network well. <laughs> on the air, but you're hearing, <laughs> well. well, even more than one, you hear more about praying, you mm -hmm. hear more about scriptures, yeah. they're bringing in different pastors or priests or whatever, you know, that they, they want to bring in. In fact, I've even seen some of ours on there, Wentley Phipps, mm -hmm. you know, come in. But what's happening is a lot of people are turning back to the Bible for the first time. We saw this at 9-11. You know, my prayer is if God gives us a little more peace after this, we know that there's going to be repetitions of this type of thing continue on. And I pray that everyone will continue on with their walk with Christ. Amen. Hold on to Him. Amen. Not just in the midst of the storm, but every moment of every day. Yes. I remember growing up thinking, mm -hmm. Lord, I, 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 please fill me with your love. I want to love and serve you no matter what. I, not just in bad times, mm -hmm. but any time. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. One of the things that jumps out at me mm -hmm. is that Everything is in such chaos. Yes. And the Lord's not wringing his hands yes. and saying, oh, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. No, he is so calm. He's sleeping. Mm -hmm. You know, how can you sleep in the midst yeah, of right. this kind of storm? You can yeah. do that if you are in control. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that confronts us Amen. that's too big mm -hmm. for God. That's Amen. The There's no is. challenge mm -hmm. that's too great for him. Mm -hmm. It's he's so chill about the whole thing that he can sleep in the midst mm -hmm. of the storm, that's which good. doesn't mean that he's not responsive mm -hmm. when we call, because when they called yeah. on him, as you brought out, mm -hmm. he answered them. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we call on him, he answers Amen. us. Amen. Yes. So yeah. there's nothing too hard for oh, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is always there. He responds yeah. when we call. And he's got the solution for every storm. Amen. Amen. Every yes. storm. Amen. So, yes. so the moral would be maybe why fight it yourself? Uh, yeah, exactly. Why, fight it? <laughs> why not just give it to Jesus? Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Song ever used to sing, yeah. give them all, give them all to Jesus. Yes. Yeah. You know, well, why did, you know, the question becomes, is why, did, why did Jesus let it go to this point? There had to be a reason, mm -hmm. oh, right? Wow. See, we have to think, yeah, why did he let it go to mm -hmm. this point? Mm -hmm. Was there something, and I know in my own life, there's things that the Lord reveals by mm -hmm. situations and circumstances and storms. Mm -hmm. Right. And so yeah. we, we see that here. There was things evidently with his close disciples, mm -hmm. those who were with him. Mm -hmm. that needed to be revealed. And I believe one of those was simply a note I put down here. Fear in the time of danger mm -hmm. reveals unbelief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fear in the time of danger reveals unbelief. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, That's true. somebody help me with it. it what, there's a difference, isn't there? Maybe help people understand the difference between I'm concerned Mm -hmm. Than fear, is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of difference would there be? Is there a vast difference, or is there fear right now? You're looking at the COVID as you brought up. Yes, go ahead. Nineteen people around the world are afraid. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we have friends. I heard Yvonne talking to one of her friends who's not a, a Christian or at least mm -hmm. believes in Jesus, and she was. I mean, it, like to me, it was almost foreign to hear her like. Well, I'm so afraid. I'm afraid to go outside. Yes. I don't want to take my dogs out. I'm afraid of everything. I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, her whole life was just tore, tore up. And we're sure. sitting here, you know, well, this is what's to be expected. That's right. But we can have peace in the midst and of the storm because we've read the back of the book. That's right. And so to be concerned, absolutely. Should we be concerned enough to wear a face mask when we yeah. go out around people yeah. Yeah. to do social distancing? Yeah. Absolutely. Should we try to make sure to do, you know, to eat right and to do everything we can do and right. be careful? Absolutely. Amen. That's what the Christian I think you're talking about. We have concerns. If Amen. we want to live a longer, healthier, happier life, let's, it depends what we take into our body. Just like our automobiles, if we, we put gas in them instead of sugar, as they say, if we do, it's not going to run. Mm -hmm. So if we're, so as a Christian, we're concerned mm -hmm. when things go wrong but we have peace that the end of the story is going to be we win. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. that there is hope beyond this life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone just put, I read, a, 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 his name is Andrew. He read that 
his father just uh, went to sleep in the Lord mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so I know him. He's a writer for one of the church papers, and we've talked some. And he said, but why? I've prayed. I've read Psalms 41, 43, and I've read all these scriptures, and I question, Lord, why did this happen? You know, I've prayed that because it says, you know, I'll heal you and I'll take care of you, and, you know, if you do all this. Mm -hmm. Then his father dies, and he said, but then all of a sudden I read the scripture differently yeah. mm -hmm. because my father was a missionary and he had helped so many people. And this was referring to him. And he'd been had three different like heart attacks or things in the last number of years. Mm -hmm. But he said, when I looked at it and not being a selfish, mm -hmm. you know, not being selfish, this scripture is everything that the Lord said it would be. And now my father's at peace. He's waiting on the Lord and he's older in years. No one lives forever. But he said, sometimes we read scriptures for right here and now yeah. that, wow, why didn't this happen? Then all of a sudden it's okay, God, your faith says there must be, uh, let me reread this because yeah. mm -hmm. you didn't lie to me. Let me reread it. Then I reread it. The light goes on. I was too close to the situation. Yes. Yes. Now I get back precious in the sight of the Lord yes. of the death oh, of the saints. Yes. 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 I get yes. back from this and I say, okay, he was suffering. He was in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. He's at rest. Yes. He's at peace. You know, so Amen. now he says, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, so I'm paraphrasing what I just read All right. a little bit ago, but that's, that's the difference, I think, is, is. peace in the midst of that mm -hmm. storm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, that's, that's really good. I mean, the disciples... They walked with God. Right. Mm -hmm. They spent time with God. Mm -hmm. They were in the boat with God. Yeah. But yet when a couple winds blew and waves rocked, mm -hmm. they got scared. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and they didn't, they, they, like you said, they took matters into their own hands. They Absolutely. almost missed the yeah. boat. Yeah. They did. They almost they did. missed the boat. Missed they the boat. did. <laughs> they sure did. I like that. We have to remember, too, he didn't come out and say, hey, I'm, I'm your creator. I'm your God. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't say that. They were getting to know him. Yes. In fact, the, what, let me put these on so I can see what verse it was. Verse 41 that mm -hmm. <laughs> Sister Yvonne right. read. Um, it was a different version, but in my version is King James. It says, and they feared exceedingly. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They feared exceedingly mm -hmm. and said to one another, what manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? You know, so they were thinking, whoa, mm -hmm. who is this? Mm -hmm. Who is this? Mm -hmm. yep. You know, so that's amazing. You know, peace, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I'll just think about it. Peace, what really destroys peace? The sin. The sin issue. You find people in the world, you know, when you read the scripture, there is no peace, mm -hmm. my God, to yes, the wicked. Yes. So the, what sin in the world, people doing things they shouldn't do, they understand that they shouldn't be doing it. And you find they have no peace yeah. in their life. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to the time here when Christ stood up, and you know, and he, 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 you know he said, what well, is in John 5? He said, of myself, I can do nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. Of myself, I can do nothing. Well, we thought it was himself. We thought it was Jesus that stood up and said, what? You know, Pete, be still. But who was he doing that through? Who really calmed those waves? Who really stopped that storm? Mm -hmm. It was Jesus' faith, no doubt it, but it was his father's, mm -hmm. right? Because he, yeah, his father, because he said, I, of myself, I can't do any of these things. Every healing, everything that took place while he was here, nothing about him. Mm -hmm. Self was gone. Mm -hmm. God was living inside of him, revealing himself. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, that, to me, that was just an exciting aspect of it. Yes. You know? and, and God can say to you and me and those who are going through situations you don't understand right now, he can say, peace, be still. That's right. Okay. You know, and I need to hear that myself sometimes. Oh, yes. Peace be yeah. still. When we look around mm -hmm. in the world, we see so many things that are happening. And I, I don't want viewers or anyone here to think, and people do sometimes, they just say words, you know, like, well, just, just get, get in the word, the word will tell you what doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. th this is real stuff. This is yeah. things I, I, don't you believe that we, we all deal with yeah. on a daily basis, oh, yeah. but maybe in a little different way. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we say we, we know who holds, right? That's we, right. We know who holds. Yeah. That's you know, right. it's all in his hands, but it still doesn't, we mentioned Danny about concern. Mm -hmm. We still have concern mm -hmm. of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And there, when I'm concerned, I, 
Well, that song, I take it to the Lord in prayer right. and leave it there That's and right. not pick it up and, and take it back with you. So, you know, this thing we talk about, that really this one passage mm -hmm. would go on for the whole hour. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then you won't have to do another one. You can do part two and part three. <laughs> <laughs> Saving a little time. We've, no, had, yeah. we've had a little I, experience. I, I, I see how you there's, developed the whole well, there's, sermon. There's joy. That. To me, there's, oh, there was yes. joy in this. Yes. It, yes. You know, we read this as a, as, as, a, as a child, did we not? We heard oh, yeah. umpteen sermons on it, and it's, it, just, it just never gets old. No. It just it's doesn't. It's true. Because we always have storms. <laughs> yes. 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 You know what I mean? It never gets yeah. old because it's always applicable Amen. to our lives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know what just hit me on this, and maybe I should think and then talk, but it, <laughs> I've never thought about this before. But people will look at whether it's those crucifying Jesus or those in the boat or the doubting Thomas and say, how could they do that? They were with him. Mm -hmm. How could they do that? If I were there, I would have believed. If I were there, I would have did this or that. In some ways, and it just occurred to me a few minutes ago, while we're talking, mm -hmm. in some ways we have the advantage. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, oh, so. yes well, that's yeah. right. Because we have back. the history mm -hmm. that's right. of everything that went on and they were acting on the spur of the moment. Right. Peter drew the sword mm -hmm. yeah. right then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that we've able to read the whole story and say what Jesus said, we say, okay, we should act a lot better than Peter, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh -huh. We should not be afraid in the, in the storm because now we have studied it and we've seen it. God gave his word yes. through the Holy Spirit. So for us to say, well, you know, it's so tough now and I'm so remote. Back then I would have been, no, you, you, you wouldn't have been. We'll be the same as we are now. But how great that God gave us yes. his word yes. mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit yeah. so that we can be prepared and we can learn yes. from these others. So mm -hmm. next time we're in the storm, let's mm -hmm. don't get ready to bail out or start screaming <laughs> or crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except Lord, yeah. save me. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's a good word. I do word. holler for the life jacket once in a while. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's, we know who the life jacket is. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's, yeah. right. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. Let's go on over to Matthew chapter even, 14. Even though, Jay, <laughs> even though Jay on the jet ski when you threw him, Kenny the keys, who threw him the keys? <laughs> Oh, oh man, funny. I almost had a heart attack. Oh, yeah, we threw him the keys, oh, Kenny's yes. sitting on the jet ski, you remember? And so oh, yes. went to hand him this, the, the keys and it went over him and he reached and last we saw down he was, out he was going into the water, but he, he bopped just like a little cork. He popped right back up <laughs> and got in. And he, Sorry and to he bring came that up. With the, oh, with the keys in hand. With the keys in hand. Yeah. You know, yeah, he caught I the had keys. To, you had to focus. <laughs> there was a disaster, and the way I was off balance, thank you. This, oh, yeah. This is, we can talk spiritual. I was off balance. Yeah. I was knocked yeah. off balance by whoever, whatever threw him out there. But we have to stay focused. That's yes. right. You know, I mean, focus on the object yeah. in which we are wanting yeah. to attain, which is, mm -hmm. is heaven. Okay. And so, right. it's, yeah, yeah. And so uh, don't lose sight, even though you're going into the, to the water. Yeah. Right. I might have right. we'll right. let go a little bit. I might have just looked and said, Jay, that's a bad throw. <laughs> You know, or yeah. somebody, I would have blamed somebody else. Who, I don't remember if you or I, Mark, that I, was you. I threw it. Yeah, but, even if it's right oh, to yeah. me and you miss it, you might say, that was a bad throw and the keys <laughs> disappear so I'm you're not, stuck in I'm the not water. I'm mistaken. But Kenny, but literally, <laughs> slow, it's like slow motion up and lean and lean Take and lean and get him. Right and then all of a sudden, I knew it was too late. Off of, the, off yeah. of it into the yeah. water. But, but he, he caught popped the back up. The first thing he showed us was the key. Yes. And the thing I noticed when I was going over, <laughs> was there's about four men standing on our thought. I heard somebody say, jump in and help him. I don't think anybody did. <laughs> we jumped, we jumped in, but by the time we jumped in, you oh, came yeah. back yeah. up so oh, yeah. fast. No, we no, could be bobbed back <laughs> up <laughs> like a sport. But yeah. what an allegory, because yes. how oh, yeah. many of us, you know, we're reaching out in faith mm -hmm. for what we know is right, but we don't know the end yeah. results. Okay. And we lose and, balance sometimes. And we lose balance. Yeah, yeah. You you know, we lose focus. Come on, yeah. good, Kenny. He's got a sermon out of everything. He does. There is a, a song, and I used to think that Melody Dawn, I, in fact, I even asked her one time, because I thought when she was real young, she had sang this at the Marian Adventist Church, He's Still Working on Me, mm -hmm. you know, to make me what I ought to be. Mm -hmm. And I kind of thought of that during this lesson because 
you know, it's not always our first response to be peaceful mm -hmm. in the midst of stress or a storm or someone's sick, mm -hmm. you know, but it's something I've had to learn. It's something he's teaching me yeah. and reteaching me. I think of one case where we were having a storm financially and I, I had fear just absolutely grip me to the point I was shaking. Mm -hmm. Well, and he lives <laughs> what he just said. He came in and I was, I needed consoling. I was ready for him to say, honey, it's going to be all right. Hi, you don't give me a hug. Oh, He's honey, like, unless there's something good. Where's your faith? <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> okay. I mean, literally, and I just had to stop. But you know what? It, he was right. Make it positive, honey. He was right <laughs> in the long run because I did not exude faith at that time. You know how you have to get somebody's attention sometime? Yeah, it had to, you had to be a little, yeah. oh, it honey. Was, it was a loving rebuke. It was. Yeah. It was. It well, was. better than the slap. <laughs> True. I didn't feel it real loved at that family. time. You, you don't want to see your loved ones, you, you know, your family, mm -hmm. anybody go in that get in that condition right. yeah. to where that really it's, it's it's hurting them mentally and spiritually and so on and so yeah. forth. And sometimes you just say, hey, hey, pointing back to to the scripture. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, pointing back to the we, we serve a God. He's sitting on the throne. He's 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 working in our behalf. Yes. And even in the, the midst of everything, I mean, we we look at it right here. Any time I think you mentioned, Sister Yvonne, any time you call, yes. even if you're yes, late. Sir. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes. You know, mm. Dan, I think you Praise mentioned that God. too. Even he yeah. still answers. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, we wouldn't do that. We, what we'd say, I told you so. Yes. You've done this three times, uh, you have to swim for yourself. I mean, it, that's not the way God operates. So keep that in mind, you know, if our, the viewers in mind that if, if you haven't called on him in a while, call on him. That's yes. right. He's yeah. still going yeah. to hear that's in regards right. of what you've done. He's going to right. answer. That's right. right. That's and right. Another just minute little point I'm just, is. I'll be quiet. Well, no, no, don't be oh. quiet. It's, it, you made me think of this is okay. because these are God's workmen. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, this is what he, he does not allow anything to touch the apple of his eye mm -hmm. unless he okays it. Amen. And he's okayed it. Mm -hmm. And so when these things come, then that's his workmen to help to build our character, to Amen. build our Absolutely. faith. Yes. You know, we're going to get into faith more. And I was, I remember when I was studying, I thought, wow, faith is so powerful. <laughs> yes. It is so powerful. We need to be building that faith that we hold on no matter right. yeah. where yeah. we're right. going. <laughs> with the key, right. This is the and key, what a by great the way. Example of yeah. talking about the disciples in a boat and Kenny and one. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> out hanging on. He did. He did. Right. Good catch, bro. Yeah. yeah, that was a great catch. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Let's look at Matthew chapter 14, verse 26. We're going to deal with some more water here, and we're going to look at verses 26 mm -hmm. through 31. Now, actually, let's start in 25, verse 25. Mm -hmm. Now, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. Mm -hmm. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come uh, down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and mm. said to him, oh, you of little faith, mm -hmm. yes. why did you doubt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Seems like we keep seeing that. Yes. Oh, ye of little faith, yes. why did you doubt? Mm -hmm. And if you notice, he, he took his eyes off of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, and that's, that's and that was his downfall. Yes. That was his downfall there. And it's all of our downfalls. Mm -hmm. When I mentioned the money, my my focus was on bankruptcy and <laughs> and right. what was about to happen <laughs> and what are we going to do. And blah, my focus was not on you know Christ. I wasn't seeing him at that time. I didn't see him in the midst of the storm. So it makes right. sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. But isn't it beautiful? Because all it, like we just said, you know, he he's there. He mm -hmm. answers when we call. And Peter asked, and he said, "Come." And that's what he says to each and every Ooh, one yeah, of us that yeah. invite him and he just says, come. Mm -hmm. He wants us to come to him mm -hmm. and he's going he's gonna to make us walk on water. He's yes. going to, you know, right. just give us yes. heavenly power, heavenly wisdom, heavenly faith. 
I love Let's it. Tol, tol, go ahead. Oh, I was I gonna, just going to say, and whoever comes to him, he will in no wise Ooh, cast, cast out. Come on. Hallelujah. So, yeah. And when we come to him, we can expect mm -hmm. that he yes. will be there. Mm -hmm. right. And he's not going to turn us away. So many people think, oh, I've done this, I've done that. I'm too bad to mm -hmm. go to God. I hear that a lot. Like, yes, people, people feel so laden down with mm -hmm. guilt mm -hmm. and shame that yeah. they can't come to God. No, yes. that's what he wants you to come. He Amen. invites you yes. to come. Whosoever will, let him come. But if I walk into the church, the rafters would fall. It, that, You've heard, yep. heard that one. You've heard that. But I've heard that. They, they, they think that they, they've done something too bad. And that's why, again, the word of God is so powerful because there have been murderers, adulterers, that's right. all of these mm -hmm. people who have done different things in this word whom God loved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He loves all of us. And so there's no sin. There is Come no sin too great Ooh. or too heavy Amen. for God to say, my blood covers, it's Jesus' admission. blood covers yeah. every sin. Mm -hmm. Even things we don't want to think about, like yes. the pedophile or the, you know, things that are just, Mercy. you know, we just think are so awful. Yes. God loves everyone and Amen. his blood covers and he can fix it mm -hmm. he can oh, fix wow. it amen, amen. Yeah. amen. Good. yeah it is you know it's it's interesting too jesus's response time yes mm -hmm. lord save me <laughs> immediately he's, he's right there to help him mm. yeah right there to help yeah him. and yeah. that's the same with us you know we we call on his name he's right there to he never went anywhere come on he's always been yeah. there yes uh, but we went in the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, you know, that's yeah. good, too. That, that one thing yes. you think about, and you read and study a little more about that, I was trying to put it in my mind. I thought, I think Jesus, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, Jesus was on the shore this time. He knew the storm. He knew what was taking place. Mm. But I think the desire of ages brings out, not for one moment did Jesus take his eyes off of that boat. Mm. I mean, that's awesome. They're going through a Beautiful. mess, but not for one Hallelujah. moment. Yes. Hallelujah. But notice, oh, again, wow. we're looking salvation by works and so on and take it back mm -hmm. and think about this. Mm -hmm. As long as they were working hard to save themselves, mm -hmm. he stayed on the shore. Wow. It wasn't until, Lord, save us, we perish. Lord, help me. You see, when they gave up on self mm -hmm. and they called on his name, then you see all of a sudden a bright light, as it were, on it. Here comes Jesus walking. Yeah. And then the other point I thought was so fascinating. He, I don't want to say pretend, that Jesus doesn't pretend, but he, as though he was going to walk by them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They needed him desperately. Mm -hmm. But he was going to, he said, he was getting ready to walk by. And then they, they reached out and they started crying, Lord, you know, save us. I was what they were saying. We're lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you say and I say, I'm lost. Yes. yes. That's when he finds. Amen. Yes. That's when he walks on the water. Wait for us to See, be ready. Th yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. But he couldn't do it as long as they were struggling and kicking and fighting like some of us in our Christian mm -hmm. experience. We're mm -hmm. fighting and kicking mm -hmm. and trying to, mm -hmm. it didn't work out this way. I'll make it work this way instead of just turning it over to mm -hmm. the Lord. So I think just a good point is, Lord, we're lost. That's mm -hmm. You know, right. see, it's when they had given up, when they quit fighting, and just said they can't see, they don't know the direction, which way they're going, and they're just lost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then he said, mm, now I can help you. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, yes. Timing is perfect. Come on. Yes. Yes. His timing is perfect. Come Our on. friend uh, Aaron Wilburn <laughs> wrote a song called Four Days Late, mm -hmm. huh? you know, mm -hmm. and it was about when the disciples and he went to, to Lazarus and they said, you, can, you come too late, come on. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. had you come. You know, you, you came too too late. You're four days late. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. But when Jesus is four days late, he's, he's right come on, on. Right he's on still, time. Right on, he's on time. Still on time. That's right. That's right. Right on time. Right. So then right. he goes to the grave and Oof. shows them mm. creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. Whew. Yes. 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 It says yeah. Lazarus come forth. Mm -hmm. the preacher yes. said if he hadn't said Lazarus, all the graves would have come up. forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think Amen. about that. Wow. He's That's always it. on time. So when Amen. we are discouraged or, Lord, mm -hmm. where are you? It's not where are you. It's where are we. Where are we? Yes. 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 Where yes. are we that we've separated ourselves mm -hmm. That's right. from you? Mm -hmm. But when you sincerely cry out, Lord, save me. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Oh. Yes. Immediately. Look at in uh, verse 27. Mm -hmm. 
where Jesus says, be of good cheer, it is I. Do oh, not be afraid. Mm, okay. yes. Like, yeah. I've got you. I'm, yeah. I'm yes. here. Yes. Your champion is here. Yes. Your hero is gotcha. here. Your God is here. Mm -hmm. Be like of good that. cheer. Don't yes. be yes. happy. Like, don't worry about it. I've mm -hmm. got you. And that's, mm -hmm. to me, knowing that no matter what we go through, that we can, that Jesus is saying, be of good cheer. I'm here. Yeah. I've got you. Mm -hmm. I'm That's here beautiful. with you. Perfect. Boy, That's another beautiful. Another thing that yeah. Uncle Kenny said Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, that, that really made me think too was he said that from uh, Desire of Ages mm -hmm. that she said he never took yeah. his eye yeah. off That's the good. boat. Ooh. And I thought immediately, he never takes his eye off of us. That's right. That's right. How often we feel so alone. We feel hopeless. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to do. You know, I know all of us have questioned, what are we going to do if there really is a big lack of food? Yeah. You know, how are we going to start growing gardens? Many of us haven't, you know, I have a little garden, but I've never grown enough to sustain us. And then you wow. have to preserve it. Then you've got to have heat. You've got, you know what I'm saying? All these things go through your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's never taken his eye off. That's right. And he gives us these things. He says, get ready, get ready. Mm. And I like, you know, when we come to him, Matthew 11, 28 says, come unto me, all ye that labor yeah. and are heavy yeah. laden. Many of us feel mm -hmm. heavy laden right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Many of us feel. Mm -hmm. But Jesus gives us promise, and I will give you you, all of us, rest. Rest, rest. Beautiful. rest, rest. in the midst of a storm. <laughs> yes. yes. Peace in the midst yeah. of a storm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, have oh. mercy. For his Beautiful. eyes on the sparrow, uh -huh. yes. and I know he watches me. Yeah. Yes. He sees every sparrow that falls, right? That's right. Yes. He sees the lily of the fields. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about, is he keeping his eye on us? Yeah. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's, That's right. good. You know, as I, as I read this passage, I start thinking about, like, how cool is it to even be able to walk on water? So I see, I see Peter, yeah. you know, getting out of the yeah. boat, and he he said, "Lord, if it's you, call me to yeah. you." Like, yeah. like, so he steps out of the boat. He's walking on water towards the Lord, and then I can only imagine, like, maybe if he was feeling himself for a second, like, "Wow, I'm really like I'm, I'm walking on water." <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know. And, oh. And, and then he's just, just said it. boop, 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 yeah. Yeah. starts sinking. Maybe look <laughs> back to see if everybody was watching. Well, watching that's out. right, yeah. that's right. And you know, in modern times, how many of us have been blessed with gifts and talents that the Lord has given to mm. us mm -hmm. where, you know, uh -oh. then we're like, oh, look at what I can do. Wow. Oh. And we take our eyes off of the prize who mm -hmm. gave us these Come gifts on. and talents yeah. to glorify him. Yes. But we use it to glorify ourselves. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good. So I, I kind of saw that in there. I was like, that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Peter, yeah. Peter had problems. And again, I have to ask, you know, pose the question, why did Jesus allow Peter to get out on the water? Mm -hmm. He knew what was going to happen, yeah. but yet he was wanting to reveal to whom? Like he does to me. Mm -hmm. He's wanting to reveal those things that need to be improved mm -hmm. to Peter. Yeah. And so one of them was unbelief, mm -hmm. right. and the other was self-exaltation. Mm -hmm. When he looked back, did you notice he took his eyes off Christ? When we take our eyes off of Christ, yeah. we automatically lose faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Automatically unbelief comes in, mm -hmm. and we become afraid. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But I thought that was just awesome to think about this. Peter, he wanted Peter to recognize. Now, how did Peter, the boys in the boat, we would say, it didn't say this, could have chuckled. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But as soon as that wave came up, he lost sight of Christ. He looked back to see how everybody was saying, look at me, what I'm doing. And then when he got, notice, how he got back to the boat was he had to put his hand in the hand of Jesus. Yes. yes. Jesus took his hand after sign of unbelief and mm -hmm. showing himself to be what he was. Mm -hmm. he, he led Peter back and stepped into the boat with him. Amen. That is just yes. awesome to me. Yes. I mean, just awesome. Yes. And that's the only way he'd be able to get into that boat. Yes. Yes. Wow. Those two things, he just about, he lost his life if it hadn't been for Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. We can lose our life spiritually. Number one is unbelief and self-exaltation, trying mm -hmm. to feel self and elevate it. Mm -hmm. And hey, Peter said, look at me. 
Mm. Yeah. Put your hand in the hand of the man Come and on steal now. the water. That's yes. right. Yes. Sing it That's now. Right. All right. Remember that song? Amen. Yes. Hand of the man from Galilee. Yes. Take yes. a look at yourselves and you look at others differently. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You were about to say something? Yeah. Um, well, the, the other thing was when in verse 30 it says, but when he saw that the wind was boisterous, Ooh. he was afraid mm -hmm. and beginning to sink, he cried, Lord, <laughs> save me. So, mm -hmm. Again, in the midst of a trial, yeah. when the trial gets harder than we could bear, right. oh, yes. and we start right. beginning to sink under okay. its right. under mm -hmm. its weight, yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's when we call out to Lord, save me, help mm -hmm. me, and that's what happened to him. I think it, it got not only <laughs> had he taken his eyes off of uh, off of the Lord, but the wind. <laughs> mm. Was worse. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so he was thinking, like, "Oh, I'm I'm out here on this water, mm -hmm. and uh, Lord save me. I'm getting ready to sink." Yes. So mm. I I just feel like there's so many great things that we yes. can extract. Oh, wow. How did he? Yes. How did he sink? You know, I just crossed my mind. You're talking about this. How did he sink? Was it like slow motion? He gave the Lord time to react and uh. time for him to repent. <laughs> How does anyone sink when they're in the water? <laughs> I mean, everything. You went just... under pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have went for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but you came up quickly. You did. You did. That's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I mean, that, the split second. Yes. yes. It don't yeah. matter how, what happens, God is, is there through the power of the Holy Spirit, just like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're going Amen. down. Yeah. You looked like you were about to say something. Yes. Wow. I was, but I got sidetracked. <laughs> right about, about no, no, no. It's, it, it, it's good. Okay. I'm okay. just, with us, it's never what, what I want the people to understand. It's never too late Come on. Yes. Right. Yes. because when you're yes. sincere, that's right. You know, Amen. now things happen. This COVID thing comes and all of a sudden, oh man, I'm so sorry. We've seen it before, whether it's pandemic, whether it's whatever yes. coming, mm -hmm. you know, Y2K, whatever, everybody starts going to church. Everybody's suddenly and then things smooth out and then all of a sudden we're gone again. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, Lord, how come you didn't take care of me? But one of the things that I was thinking, it's another whole program, Well, but it's interesting <laughs> what the devil will do to deceive people. For instance, mm. we can see all of these trials through storms, and we can go through yes. probably hundreds more mm -hmm. to see that we're as gold tried in the fire, yes. Yes. that we learn our dependency. Then you got the popular <laughs> theology, oh, don't worry about it, when times get tough, we're going to be raptured wow. to heaven. Mm. And we're going to, all the rest of these people mm. are going to be down here suffering all this. Mm. Not true. Mm. And we've got to do some programs about that to, yes. for people's understanding. Yes. Mm. Just to understand, no, let's live in the mm -hmm. time, be prepared for the time of trouble because it may be only then that we really find out how dependent that we need to be in order to be saved. That's mm -hmm. true. That's, yes. that's a good So it's really good like in the midst of the storm we find out who and what we really are, who we really belong to, then, is yeah. that right? That's yes. Not in the good nothing. times, That's not the right. high times. That's right. Sometime when right. things Sometimes. really hit, it find that we can do nothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, fail, I fail several times on that. I understand that in my life, but God's been yeah. good. Yeah. That. He's yes. been good to me, yeah. you know, in spite of, and he's there to lift us up and to encourage us. So yes. Yeah. It's a good lesson. That is. Very it good is. lesson. Yeah. 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 Talking about, yeah. Let's, let's, I like what you said about the fiery part. We're going to uh -oh. transition into Daniel. <laughs> We're going to go to a fiery trial okay. in Daniel chapter 3. We're going to look at verses 23 through 25. Uh, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst mm. of the burning fiery furnace. Mm. Furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Mm -hmm. They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. Mm -hmm. And the form of the fourth is like the mm -hmm. Son of God. Ooh. So who stands with us in our trials? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God does. Right. Absolutely. Right. God does. Yeah. And I mean, as we looked at the other trials, as we looked at the other storms, mm -hmm. Jesus was in the boat, or Jesus was on the water, and yes. he, I mean, he's, he's with us Amen. throughout it all. Good. Throughout yeah. it all. And that, again, goes back to the point, if I think I'm not going to go through trials, mm -hmm. now what happens when I go through them? I tend to doubt God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where is God when I need him? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
been there all along. Yep. You just haven't depended on him. You're dependent on yourself. That's right. But God is always going to be there. But sometimes it takes us going through to say, you know what? I can't fix this one. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's nothing right. I can do. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. why people That's kill themselves so many yeah. times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kill themselves because they say, I can't get out. This is so bad. Well, mm -hmm. There's no way out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way out, they feel like, but when you have the Lord yeah. and you know He's there, mm -hmm. and that's when He's waiting. Yes. Yes. Because when that's when we're at times going to be the most sincere yes. to finally say, you know yeah. what, I don't care how much money I have, how much power I have, yeah. how much influence I have in this whole world. Mm -hmm. When it comes right down to it, we all can do nothing. I can do nothing on my own, but I can accomplish all things Amen. through Christ. Amen. 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 You know, I just heard, I heard on the, the news, this is recent, mm -hmm. that a, a nurse, they call heroes, which they are, is mm -hmm. working with the sick and so sure. on. So uh, now a doctor, I'm sorry, a doctor, busy laboring and working during this, you know, COVID-19. I mean, it's just like too much. And th she contracted, mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. and she committed suicide. Oh. See, wow. maybe oh. seeing everything that was going on and oh, her, wow. her dad is a doctor and so on, he just simply said, you know, it was just too much. You're so involved with trying to help and to save others, mm. you know, and bring them out that there's just like, once you got it, it's just like, there's just no hope. This is a bad deal. Mm -hmm. So today we want to encourage there is hope. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to look outside of, of ourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. The only time I look to myself, it's like a total disaster. Like it's, it's failure. But when we look to Christ, mm -hmm. there, there's victory. And Amen. You, you wish that could change. You know, I don't know this person, but when I heard it, it touched my heart. I said, and oh, there's yeah. thousands that's going through this today, but just like here's one who's a doctor who's saving lives. And then with all of the stress and the strain and yeah. not maybe looking to Christ, I don't know the situation, but you know, would get, find hope. She just, I've got it now. So I'll just take the easy way out. Yes. Yeah. You know, God have mercy yeah. on us. We live, like I say, in a precarious time of earth's history. Yeah. People are looking for for answers, thank God for 3ABN and places like this where it can get into the homes and get in to help somebody along the way. Yes, mm -hmm. and give some hope. Amen. Yes. We need um, that. Yes. Um, one of my favorite, this is like my, I, I don't know, it might be my favorite well. um, passage <laughs> is, um, I don't want to rely on my memory because I might misquote it, but it's Isaiah 43. Mm -hmm. Verses one through three. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. Yes. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, mm -hmm. you shall not mm -hmm. be burned. Mm -hmm. Nor shall the flames scorch you. And in the King James, it says, kindle upon you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Amen. So when we're in the fire, like each thing is a is a an increase in the intensity of yes. the trial. Yes. So first it's through the waters, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it's through the rivers, mm -hmm. then it's through the fire. Yes. But at mm -hmm. each juncture, yeah. God is with us That's and he says, amazing. I've called you by mm -hmm. your name. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You are mine. That means out of all the billions of people That's on right. planet Earth, <laughs> He mm -hmm. knows your name. He knows mm -hmm. my name. Yes. Your name. Mm -hmm. He knows our names. He knows everything mm -hmm. about us. Yes. And every trial, at every mm -hmm. point in that trial, he's with us. Mm -hmm. You know, That's we can powerful. think about um, death and how. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get off. Oh, well, mm -hmm. now. How death mm -hmm. can impact mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your life and yes. how you can, you can ask the Lord to heal. Right. You can ask him to raise the person up. You can, yes. ask, but you have to trust that if the answer is no, that there is a reason for that. Mm -hmm. And that's where our faith comes in, I mm -hmm. believe, because mm -hmm. we have to know that we are finite. He is infinite. Yes. We deal mm -hmm. in the temporal. He deals in the eternal. Mm -hmm. you, yes. He deals in the eternal. And so we might not know why God allowed someone to go to sleep when we right. begged him to, to let them live. But we do know that God's emphasis is on saving people. Yeah. So maybe that was a time when that person could be That's saved. Right. We don't know that. What we know is that we serve a God who's with us, 
who will comfort us, who will bring yeah. us through yeah. every storm and every fire. We, we have a little book uh, that we put together. It's mm -hmm. called uh, After COVID-19, yes. What Next? Mm -hmm. So for our viewers, you can get it free. You can simply go to our website and you can download it. It'll show you how to do it and you can read it. And um, hopefully it'll be a help to you if you're questioning. Mm -hmm. it, it answers things like why do bad things happen to good people? Mm -hmm. You know, why are, you know, babies or why are, why are innocent people you know, so many terrible things happen to them. If there's a God, where is he? Mm -hmm. And so why are we separated from him? Why doesn't he show his face? Mm -hmm. So it talks about the character of God and it talks about sin and where sin came from and why when we look at the whole picture that sin comes from rebellion through Satan and has each of us, we live in a sinful world. Yeah. So until Jesus comes back the second time, we're going to reap the results. Mm -hmm. So Yes, the rain's going to fall on the just as well as the unjust. So if you go to 3ABN's website, you can just look it up there and it'll say go to the COVID-19 and you can digitally download that and read it for free because we want you to, to see it and, and mm -hmm. understand it. Maybe you have friends, you have family that don't understand it. And that's, yes. that's why I think it's so important mm -hmm. for people to understand Death is a part of life yeah. on this right. earth. Yeah. Death is a part of life. That's not the worst thing that can happen to us. Mm -hmm. and sometimes we pray for people selfishly that would be much better off resting in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but instead we, for because we don't want to lose them, right. we're praying no matter how much pain, no matter what right. they're going right. through, right. we're praying, oh, why didn't God save this person? Well, actually it's a blessing when you yes. know that you're asleep in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So... No, is death fun? Not for any of us. And do we hate it? Absolutely, we do. Will it happen to all of us? Should the Lord tarry a few more years? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the peace is in the midst of the storm, yeah. knowing yes. this is just the beginning, not the end. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's you know, that's, right. I'm glad yes. you said that because here on this earth, in our mm -hmm. life, death is a sting. It hurts. Yes. It breaks yeah. our hearts. Mm -hmm. But heaven looks at death differently. Mm -hmm. You know, especially as you mentioned the scripture in Revelation, you know, blessed are those who die in the Lord from here on out. And you can see as these things continue mm -hmm. to grow worse, where death may be a blessing, blessing for yeah. many of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you go back to this story we're looking at, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they could have easily said, hmm, they were facing a death decree. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to someday face a death decree. Yeah. We've got challenges ahead of us with, you know, vaccines and all these things that are, are being broadcast daily in the news. What are we going to do? How are we going to stand? And um, they could have easily said, well, Lord, you know my heart. I'm not really bowing down. I'm not really right. worshiping. Mm -hmm. Come on. But what example did they set to all the other right. leaders. Yeah, because right. if I don't, I could be around to be a witness to others later. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just yeah. pretend right. to do this and right. you can justify right. why did, you didn't do what he asked you to exactly. do. And I don't think they could have stood <clears throat> if they didn't have peace with God first. Yes. Oh, they, mm -hmm. oh, they have to have, it's a yes. different, not just our physical peace, mm -hmm. but peace knowing that our lives are saved in Him. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we're in a saving relationship with our Lord and Savior. That's, right. That's where all of us need to be trying to attain at this very time. Because mm -hmm. we know not, we're not promised tomorrow. That's mm -hmm. right. We don't know what tomorrow holds for any of us. Mm -hmm. And they were willing and they went in peacefully. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. If it's God's will, mm -hmm. He can save us. But if not, they were willing to give up their lives That's right. yeah. for truth, to stand for truth. We're to worship God in what? Mm -hmm. Spirit, Spirit and in truth. truth. Yeah. That's yeah. how important truth is. Mm -hmm. I found this one quote from uh, Stephen Haskell, the story of Daniel the prophet. It said, would they allow an, un and this, this hit me hard well. when I was thinking about it, would they allow an unsanctified emotion? Mm. Remember, we're to control our emotions, mm -hmm. not allow emotions to control us. That's a tough mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. but that's one we need to overcome. Yeah. Would they allow an unsanctified emotion to have possession of their lives mm -hmm. and compromise their faith? Mm. Their emotion could have done that right then and there. Our emotions can do that if we don't 
control them sure. and say, mm -hmm. and you know, just give them up mm -hmm. to the Lord, allow him to give us strength in that. What could a religion be worth which admitted is admitted of compromise? In other words, well. if we continue to compromise truth with error, what mm -hmm. good is our faith? That's That's right. Right. What Absolutely. good is what we're yes. standing for? Yes. You know, and I hear that a lot on the news, you know, in one respect, you, you hear them praising God and, and uplifting the Bible. And the next thing, they're uplifting a lifestyle that's so totally against him. Mm -hmm. You know, God is calling a people to be a peculiar people, right. to yeah. separate from the sin that is separating us from him. Yeah. We are to come out of yeah. Babylon, three angels' messages. Yeah, yeah there you, go. Yeah. you know, you always hear about, it's interesting, that the, the, always the three Hebrews, and then the fourth was Jesus in there. Yeah. You know, Jesus came and he, you know, he rescued. Yeah. You know, he stood for the three Hebrews, but also Jesus is what? He got the attention of the king yes, of Babylon by the glory and what took place, and it changed his heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. He extolled the God of heaven. So yes. just more than three, God has something in mind for all of us. Yes. Yes. A lot more than what any of us That's uh, right. can understand. That's right. You mentioned a while ago, Dan, just like, I, I'm trying to come to the point, I don't have to understand God's plan, all the things that are, you know, laid out there to understand it. I just need to be willing to be obedient. Yeah. Because yeah. he asks us to do things. Sometimes we don't understand the whys. It might yes. be five years down the road or 10 years or maybe never in this life. Yes. But God help us to just know what he says in his word and then be willing to just follow it by yes. faith. That's all he asks us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love in verses 17 and 18 mm. of chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us mm. from the burning fiery uh, furnace, yes. and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. But if oh, not, yeah. That's bold. That's bold. That's yeah. bold. they That's spoke bold. truth bold. to power. That they is. were not afraid mm. to stand mm. up mm. to the king. Right. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold mm -hmm. image which you have set up. We will. We must be willing to take a stand right. for what right. we know is right. Absolutely. Yes. And, yes. and stand up to anyone That's right. who is going to question our God. That's mm. right. We have to be willing to take Amen. a stand. Amen. 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 That's powerful. We only have like a <laughs> short time left. Let's talk about real quick how to obtain peace. What do you, what do you think? How, how, sh how can we go about obtaining peace? Well, making our take, yeah. call an election yeah. sure with That's God to have yes. peace yeah. with him. Yes. Yes. That's what was on my heart. Even as I was studying this, we can't have peace in the midst of a storm. We can't be like Christ, have his character unless we're connected with him. We have mm -hmm. to surrender self Good. Yes. Yes. to Jesus. Yes. You surrender self, then he'll be in the midst of that fire with us. Amen. Spend Amen. time with him so we learn to trust him more. Yes. Amen. 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 So in other words, we need to be consistent. Yes. Right? yes. We need to go the distance. We can't just open the Bible and yes. read Jesus wept and be content. Right. <laughs> we got to spend right. some time, right. right? Quality time. We need to maintain a healthy lifestyle so we can digest mm -hmm. the right. bread of life and, yeah. and all of those things. Well, thank you so much for, for this discussion and Blessing. your wonderful input. And thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Until next time, God bless. <laughs>